Hello and welcome to GT Racers. Today is the last day that we are inside the GT. Of course, now we need to do something else. Uh, before we start today, I want to say that thank you for all the very intelligent and very knowledgeable uh, comments that I got yesterday on last on the video from yesterday when I talked about the Torcam uh, electric turbo. I think I have a lot more to think about before I'm thinking about getting an electric turbo. And you're right. Can the engine really take the punishment? It will be different. I need to look into changing a lot of things, the hardware inside of the engine, to be able to take the increase in horsepower and torque. But thankful, I'm very happy for all your comments. Today, let's put it together. And so we can finally start on the outside and, and finish the last sill. Let's take a look down into the seal, how it looks now. The seals now is covered thick in a transparent or almost transparent white wax and it's sticky let's see if I can get my fingers in and it's really sticky all the way to the bottom and hopefully you see you can still see the rust the rust is still in the under the wax but maybe this will help the corrosion corrosion to stop for a few years but in the end probably I have to cut it open and change it to new seals. Let's start with the left interior panel. The only thing that actually broke here, and it's not really broke, is you see these white points. They are supposed to be sitting one here and one there. And this one on this side, I think it, it broke a little bit but it will work if we just turn it. But eventually it will not work. So now I need to just take these white ones out and put them back on. Or I could slide them on. Ah, I'm so stupid, of course, because it's open. So let's just slide them on to the left and then push it. Maybe that is why it broke. Well, what do I say? I got the one white out from here. But here everything, no, there, everything loosened. So now I put the, both the white and the yellow back here and I will push everything back into that hole. But here I manage. So now we should be able to get the first panel in place. On the right the panel we have only two problems here. One problem is the yellow piece that's in the side of, 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 the, of the door. No. The yellow piece that is on the inside uh, it of course is still stuck here on on the white peg and I've been trying to get it loose but I'm afraid I will just break it and I have no spare. So I've just put it there and I'll push it in with everything. But of course this one that never loosened just broke off everything. We will just glue this and put it back. And again, thanks to my wife's glittery glue gun, we managed to fix something. It's amazing. Super too. Jag måste skriva med handen. Ja, men gör det. Prova This is my youngest son, Philip, and he's helping me because we have put back you know, the sides back, back seats rear, back seats rear, what I call it, is back. Now he's fastened the seat belt and he has helped me with everything. I have a very good mechanic. And now we will try to do the trim for the door. This was a very short video today. Uh, I had a lot of good help from my Philip who helped me to put everything back. And of course, putting things back is much easier than taking it off because you just have to reverse everything. And uh, the panels, a little bit of problem with the panels because they break a little bit. So I have to glue some things back. but. Overall, it's very easy. And after, I will continue reading your comments about the electric turbo. And uh, maybe I will do instead focusing on uh, faster uh, cams and uh, starting looking at polish the intakes and 
and look through everything. What can I do inside the engine that can make it better performance? Mm, yeah, maybe. That's a good idea. I'm always interested in new ideas when they come up, like with this new kind of electric turbo. It's not new. It's not new. But another company comes and really puts a serious thought about it. Yeah, you start getting thinking like, hmm, is this something for me? And you never know what the next thing it will be that comes. So it's always good to stay curious. But thank you for today. Tomorrow we will finally do fixing up the rust. No, fixing up the hole and, 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 and the damage and we've put fillers in and we paint the bloody seals. I, I thought that these seals videos would be like two videos and I, I don't know, we've done six now. But thank you for watching. Like and subscribe and see you next time. Goodbye.